Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Last night was the Super Bowl. If you liked it, you liked it. If you didn't care about it like me, you didn't watch it. But during the Super Bowl, there's a tradition of dropping trailers for big blockbuster movies for the year. There's one MCU movie this year, and it is Deadpool 3, now titled Deadpool and Wolverine. The trailer dropped last night. In fact, it wasn't, apparently, from what I understand, it wasn't actually on Super Bowl. They dropped a teaser to tell you to go watch it online, and that's what a lot of us did. I watched it. Uh, I This is not going to be a breakdown. I can tell you right now, we are not breaking Deadpool down. We are breaking down whether or not this means anything. Because, listen, I am a fan of Deadpool. I have the first movie. Boom, there it is. It is uh, an enjoyable movie. Actually, it's a really good movie. It's a perfect little movie. Knows exactly what it is. Didn't like the second one so much, which is why I'm not showing it off. I didn't spend money on it. But here's the thing. The MCU has one movie this year. Deadpool and Wolverine. That's it. They're putting all their eggs in the basket for the nostalgia berries that Ryan Reynolds, Merc with a Mouth, and Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine will put butts in seats. What do I think? I think... A couple of things. One, this movie will probably make money. Now, will it make a billion dollars? Because Deadpool 1 only pulled in $781 million, but on a budget of $58 million, it made Fox, then Fox Studios, 20th Century Fox, a lot of money. Deadpool 2 pulled in roughly the same amount. Let's see, difference of, yep, only difference of $5 million more on a higher budget, but it still made 20th Century Fox some money. Now Disney owns Deadpool and Wolverine. It is now an MCU official. We don't know what the budget on this is yet. My guess, minimum $200 million, which means a $500 plus million dollar requirement for break-even because that's just the production. We add in all the marketing we are about to be inundated with over the next four months. This movie needs a billion dollars. The question is, can it make a billion dollars? I think it can easily get to the $781, $786 million level that the previous two movies made because people like Deadpool. People enjoyed these movies. Even if they like one better than two, they will go see this movie because they like Ryan Reynolds. Also, even though they're integrating Deadpool into the MCU, it still kind of stands apart on its own. Deadpool, let's be honest, Deadpool and Wolverine, here's my second thing. It's going to make money. That's my first thing. It will make money. Whether it's going to make a billion dollars, I don't know. But it will make money. But will it save the MCU? That is the real question here. Will Deadpool and Wolverine save the MCU? Well, let's ask the question. Does the MCU need saving? A lot of people have said for a long time, when myself and others in the fellowship in this YouTube here criticize Marvel and Disney, they haven't made money on a movie in years. Sorry, the little bit of change they made on Guardians 3 was enough to buy Kevin, Kevin Feige a sandwich, maybe a coffee. Everything else, they've lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Dollars across the board. That's movie and Disney Plus. Because Disney Plus, every MCU mo show on Disney Plus is going into the black hole. No, everything goes in. Nothing comes out. So Deadpool will ring. Do is it saving the MCU? Well, according to the trailer itself, it is. I'm the Messiah. I am He is Marvel Jesus. Praise Jesus. Now, this is leaning into the fact that this movie is not taking the MCU seriously. So if it's not taking the MCU seriously, even though it's got TVA all over it in this trailer, is it saving the MCU? And I ask the question, did the MCU need saving? Well, apparently... According to this movie, it needs saving. It needs a messiah. The shills are finally admitting. Deadpool 3 admits harsh truth about post-ending MCU. I'm Marvel Jesus. How many times did Shill Rant, Shill BR, Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, Variety, go down the list of every shill rag out there and all the stands that carry the water for Disney on next Twitter? How many times have they said the MCU is fine? 
How many times have they said, we don't need to worry. You're all going to be there at every movie every time it comes out. Why are you talking like this? Well, apparently it's not fine. The MCU is the Bur Weekend of Bernie's zombie I always tell you it is, marching along to a song. And as soon as the song stops, it falls on its face. And this time, people are not going to play another song to resurrect it. They're going to look at the dead body, and they're going to walk on forward, not caring. The MCU is on its last legs. So I ask the question again, will Deadpool and Wolverine save the MCU? My answer, no. This will be just like Guardians 3, people liked it, people went to see it, it grossed a lot of money, did not net a profit. Deadpool and Wolverine will be like that. It will probably gross a lot of money, probably actually make a little profit, but it's not going to save anything because people aren't going to connect it to the MCU. They're going to see a host of cameos from the Fox X-Men universe and possibly variants of MCU characters. Even though they reference, obviously they referenced Avengers in the trailer here and there, there's no real connective tissue to the MCU. People are not going to associate Deadpool and Wolverine to MCU. People are going to go see it for Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman interacting as Deadpool and Wolverine. They're not going to see it as a chapter in the MCU to move whatever crap story they're trying to tell at this point. MCU is dead. It's done. It doesn't make it to the Secret Wars movie. They even tried to Easter egg in there in the final shot before Wolverine starts to, starts to polarize Deadpool on the ground there. There is no saving this. It's over. Enjoy the original run of Phases 1 through 3. Pretend everything ended after Endgame, which is what I do. The MCU, MCU ended after Endgame. Deadpool Wolverine will make money, but it will not save the MCU. All right. I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. We hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care. But whiny stand, fake fan, and SJW Fifi's. Hit the notification button. Share my videos if you like what I'm preaching. And by all means, leave a comment. Love to hear from the true passion and fan out there. I care what you think. I do not care what the fake fan stand tourist SJW has to say because 201, they're all cowards behind keyboards. And I'm sure I'll get yelled at and read at over this. Bring it on. Making you salty triggered makes my day. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos. Maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.